There's more willingness now to talk about mental health both at home and at work, but the stigma around it and also access to the care can still be barriers to getting help, especially for minorities. These were issues in our communities that were underlying and, and an issue, and then you have something like COVID and the social justice movement, and it just inflames and exasperates the situation. And I think just like COVID laid bare a lot of societal inequality, it also really highlighted how critical mental health is, particularly in times of stress. Joan Steinberg with the Morgan Stanley Foundation is a member of the group looking at how to address these mental health risks for young people of color. The transition from college to the workforce is already challenging, but the Steve Fund Crisis Response Task Force is trying to find new ways for employers to better promote mental health for young people of color. Increasingly, the, the world is, is getting to be more and more diverse. This is the future workforce. These are the future leaders. I, I think we need to be thoughtful about what that means for all of us and how we all benefit when everybody shows up whole, healthy, and ready to achieve their full potential. The task force recommends employers have strategies for transferring mental health supports from college to the workplace. It also recommends having mental health and well-being be a part of all work operations. Third, it says having diverse mental health experts is beneficial. And finally, promoting an understanding of racial trauma by providing mental health and peer support resources.